came a point in this series of paintings, whereas it was no longer about just abstractualism, my art form, or the process, or the paint. It was about my emotion. And here in this painting, which is entitled Temptation, um, I think I reached a, a form of perfection. I'm very excited about the work in this painting. There are millions of strokes. And I use tiny brushes. Uh, and you can see every stroke. There are strokes on top of strokes on top of strokes. And in this painting, there's a, a very large ear. It is my ear, so therefore it's a self-portrait. However, I chose to depict it here because hearing is the sensory mode, whereas we must tell the truth. Uh, unlike seeing and smelling, where we can mask our emotions, when we hear something, the sound, or what is said, goes directly to our brains, and therefore to our hearts. And we blush, or we chide, or we feel anger. And I was thinking about something that I heard someone say to me that affected and changed my life completely when I painted this in 2008. And as a result, this painting came out. There is also, of course, the formations of my um, stylization, rather, of the, the Eiffel Tower itself. And there's a noose. And there have been a lot of talk about the noose representing lynching of African Americans and Africans and being a bad symbol. But what I have the noose in this painting for is contrast to that in the sense that um, it doesn't have power over me, nor does temptation have power over me. So that in this painting we do either resist or we give in to the temptation. Mm -hmm. The background um, in the painting, of course, uh, I love because uh, it's a combination of places that I visited, Paris, uh, Chicago, around the United States, um, churches, different places. I made it up. Um, but it has a perspective that when you get up on it, it's all aerial. And this whole series has that aerial view. So Temptation, an oil and canvas, about 54 by 80, is one of my masterpieces. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me also share with you my store he is right behind me. I, um, of course, sell prints of my work at local art fairs and um, expos. So here's one of Temptation on the wall here, you can see, uh, an 8 uh, by 10 uh, gallery wrap. There are uh, glisse, glisse, G clay prints. It's a French word. I, my French is not that great, but they're G clay prints. And, um, I love uh, making limited editions. I'm not interested in large editions as of yet, and I hand pull them or work them myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so each is hand signed. Um, in addition to the t-shirts, I have posters and t-shirts, and these are all promotional materials um, that um, I use to generate better exposure for my art. Um, also, um, note cards. You know, I'm on the internet all the time, but what I've noticed is that as we are on the internet, a lot of us forget that not only typing and chatting and texting and all these things is good, but sometimes a little personal touch is good. So you can sit down and write a little note to somebody, and I have those um, for people who want them. My work is on display also at the um, door store here in Brooklyn, Deborah Marin. Uh, is the manager, and I'm soon to have an exhibit there. Uh, I'll have to announce that date soon. Um, but some of my um, oil paintings are actually on exhibit uh, permanently there, um, and you can go see them at 475 Atlantic Avenue. One of the um, highlights of this resurrection exhibit is this painting that I've entitled Dreamer. It's actually a depiction of a daydreamer, in a sense, in a surreal sense. This one has a rope attached to his leg, kind of the same rope that is in that noose in the other painting that I spoke to you about. Only here, the noose is there volitionally. He tied it there so that he could have a way back out of the daydream. Very interesting uh, concept that 
has its uh, roots in a relationship to uh, some forms of theology, whereas a high priest might need to be pulled out of a holy place if he should have been stricken dead. Whether or not the story is true, I don't know. However, it's an interesting story. Uh, it's not a depiction about something uh, sexual or uh, that we should desire, but in the same sense that if you look at paintings of Jesus Christ on the cross, you see he has a garment over him, but he's fairly uh, seemingly. Um, I've risen above the earthly realm in these paintings, and now I'm above my issues, problems, people, whatsoever, and I guess you can say resurrected. And that's pretty much it, aside of, um, I, I have a t-shirt, and I'm working on a new set of paintings that I'm going to exhibit um, very shortly at the door store, and that last painting over there on the wall is Grace, whereas in Grace, we are above our problems, but we are balancing them, semi-grounded, but still above the issues. Hey, so, well, hey, I want to thank you for being on the show, Stacy. Well, thank um, you. Love the space here. Thank you very love much, you. Eric. So we're going to keep in touch with you and see what else you got going on. So uh, thank you for being on the show. Great.